What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great, finally freaking Friday. We are knee-deep in week number six. We got crazy things going on. Jerry Jones's birthday was yesterday, and today we find out about a lawsuit against him allegedly in 2018 groping somebody without permission. And uh, we also know that uh, Dak Prescott has moved up to questionable, and we don't know what the deal is. The Cowboys might be playing that great deception there. Maybe this is going to be deception bowl and then there's philly 500 um let me shout out to brother ross brother ross mixed this up for me and uh this will kind of get us started on this betting situation uh this is a big game i mean, I mean this is as big as they come if the eagles lose if the Eagles lose, you text me, hey, you want to come on? We say, come on, hey, I'm stuck at work, dude. I'm not going to be able to do it. Maybe Thursday or Friday. Then he does a video, fully 500, scared to show up. He's scared to show up. And and I have to say this, is 4-1 Dallas Cowboys. I think they took a team lightly. They had a letdown. I don't think they played their best football. Still found a way to win. Just coming in, you're undefeated. You're on prime time. You're on Sunday night. But... I gotta tell you, I think I think the Eagles are in a good spot. <laughs> okay, so here it is. We end up finally getting this together, um, and listening to, of course, Philly Five Hundred. You know, he started this. You know, I want to bet, I want to bet, and this, that, and the other on Monday. I talked to him on Tuesday. Yeah, let's get together on Wednesday. I hurried home to get here and everything else, and then yesterday and all that. So I was waiting yesterday, you know, before the exciting Bears-Washington Commanders game for Philly 500 and never heard anything from him, so I dropped a video. So I'm doing my live stream while he's doing his live stream last night during that exciting, I mean, that barn burner game. And, you know, some of his people came over and said, oh, Philly wants you to come on. It's like, Philly 500, you know my phone number. You know, Because you gave it out. You know my number. You, you text messaged me about ad sets going down and everything. But you didn't text me about this whole thing. So I did live stream with him last night. And we went through and we talked about the bet. So here's what the bet is. Lord Brunson, LB, makes hats. Shout out to, you know, being a small businessman, you know. Props to you on that one. Ain't never going to be mad about somebody out there busting their ass to make a dollar. If the Cowboys lose, I have to buy a hat from Lord Brunson and wear it each day for one video a day and not trash the Eagles. I mean, if the Eagles beat us, how can I trash them? I mean, they, they, that would be they are, you know, uh, the tiebreaker ahead of us and two games ahead of us and undefeated. If the Eagles, and, and this is where it's a sucker bet for me because, you know, the Cowboys got no chance in hell in this game. I mean, we're on a backup quarterback, maybe, or maybe not a backup quarterback. Who knows? I mean, we're playing mind games. I mean, Philly has told us that the only place that we were better than the Eagles all offseason was quarterback, and our quarterback's not playing. He said that, you know, they got the better running game. They got the better offensive line. They got the better defense. And I was kind of like, well, what about Micah Parsons? You know, he tried to tell me that Hassan Reddick is the same as, as Micah Parsons. And, and big play Slay, big play Slay is, is a shutdown corner unlike, you know, Diggs. So, I mean, they've told us that we're trash. We've listened to all the talking heads that, you know, nobody's picking the Cowboys. Nobody's picking the Cowboys. And and you want me to bet straight up, but that's okay. That's cool. You know, even though the Cowboys are six and a half point underdogs. Here's how good the Eagles must be because going against the defending Super Bowl champions, they were only five and a half. They're six and a half point underdogs. So, of course, I got Eagle fans out the woodwork that want to bet me. I ain't got that kind of money to lose and stuff. And if I put my house on, on bet and lost it, shh. Be bad enough to be homeless, but it'd be even worse to get a foot put in my ass from my wife to be like, you lost our house? Betting on the Cowboys? Are you crazy? Or just plain stupid? But I went ahead and took the bet. And so the bet is, if the Cowboys somehow, some way, end up winning this game, 
Then my wonderful bride, shout out to her. I got her a uh, Cameo Silhouette, Cameo Silhouette Pro 4, because we always go Pro 4 um, machine, where we can make shirts. See, check this out. Look, look at this. This, this, is, this is one of her creations right here. Look at that. Joe Boo Sports Report, established 2012. Yeah, that, that's when I made Joe Boo. Ten years, ten years ago. So what we will do is, my wonderful bride. So so you don't. Have, so Philly doesn't even have to spend any money, okay? He doesn't even have to spend any money. Like you know, we've done bets before where I've gone through and I've bought the shirts and shipped them out to him. And he was like, "Well, I'll buy a, a CD Lamb jersey." Well, you could probably, you know, if, if the Cowboys win, you can guarantee you can find a Cowboy fan that would love to have it. So I will get my bride to make a shirt. And the shirt, I'm not sure exactly what it says, but it'll be something to the effect of Cooper Rush kicked the Eagles' teeth in. Something like that. So Philly 500 would have to wear that each day for a week and do a video without trashing the Cowboys. So that's the bet. Now, on to other talk here. Because this is, you know, this is beginning to feel like what it used to feel like Cowboys versus Washington back in the 70s and 80s, back when both teams were good and playing for something. This is a lot of talk back and forth. And it's amazing because I've actually heard the term bulletin board material because I don't think anybody actually uses a bulletin board anymore. Back in the day, there were no tablets to put stuff on. You know, there was no digital media. You act actually got a newspaper delivered to your house and you'd go out in the morning in your bathrobe, grab the newspaper and eat breakfast and, and you know, go through the newspaper and you take a pair of scissors and physically cut out. There was no copy and pasting. And you would take a thumbtack and stick it to the bulletin board for everybody to go by and read. In which case, they all got to get around a circle, semicircle to see it. You know, now you just go ahead and send a text message and, and at everybody and everybody knows. So Nick Seriani was asked about D-Law talking about weed and boys. Don't you forget. He was asked about him talking about the Eagles not playing anybody. They haven't played us. So this is what he said. Outside your locker room, there is the greatest rivalry in the NFL and the Eagles helmets and the Cowboys helmet. And just yesterday, Dallas Cowboys defensive end Demarcus Lawrence came, had some things to say about your offense and Jalen Hurts and how they haven't played you yet. Um, do you do any bulletin board material? Do you use any kind, anything that's leading into the game like this? And this is Rob Krushner. Nick Sirianni's response was, I'm not really into bulletin board material, to be quite honest with you. He's too young. He doesn't know what a freaking bulletin board is. Because our greatest motivation is to play for each other. This team loves each other. This is what um, is making this team into a special team, is that they are in it for each other, and they're in it to not let others, um, each other down, to play for each other. That's why we... We're in it as coaches to put our guys in positions to help them play great. That's what motivates. Uh, that, that's the motivation we need is just, hey, for each other. I don't want it to be let quarterback hurts down. I don't want to let, you know, defensive tackle Fletcher down. Um, that thing is contagious. When all these guys want to play for each other, that's when it's a special thing. And, hey, Dallas defensive end Demarcus Lawrence is a great player. And we're going to have to be ready for, ready for where he is, no matter where he is on the field. So we know how good of a football player he is and how good of a defense this is, for that matter. But we're playing for each other, and that's our greatest motivation. What the hell was that? We're playing for each other. I love you, man. That was a bullshit response. What happened to the guy who was wearing Beat Dallas? Beat Dallas? You know, yesterday he was saying, we're going to account for Micah Parsons for every play. Are you going to put 20 men on the field? Because now you're talking about you're going to stop D-Law too. You're going to stop D-Law, Micah Parsons? And, and, and what about uh, um, Armstrong? Armstrong, you gonna stop him? You gonna stop him too? Okay, 
Dante Fowler? Okay. All right. Okay. So, that's where we are. We have a bet. We have a game. We'll have the Philly cam. And um, let me say one thing about, about Philly 500. Understand, this world is crazy. I mean, you know, the war in Ukraine, all the stuff that's going on in our country where we're at each other's throat. There's so much hate and everything else. I respect Philly 500 as a rival as well as a friend. The fact that we can go back and forth trash talking each other and things without making it personal is actually a good thing. And I would actually like to see more things like that. But hey, what do I know? I am just a, a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll who loves the Cowboys. I'll see you tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream about two hours from now. In the meantime, as far as Eagles go, tight, tight, like me now, me now, me now.